Hi there guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about probably the most beautiful shark in the world. It's a, it's a big statement but it's in my opinion it's true. Of course it's the leopard or leopard or zebra shark. It depends where you want to go on this. I prefer leopard shark but so two common names. Anyway, Stegosoma varium. Now the name Stegosoma comes from covered mouth. Um, if you've ever seen in rays and stuff like that, you often have that little flap that sits over the over the mouth itself. So they've got this now on the on these uh, leopard sharks, and that just covers their mouth, makes it sort of look like it's completely closed. Anyway, side note. Uh, overall, quite a robust sort of shaped shark. Um, very very long slender tail um, they actually don't have much of a lower lobe to the tail itself so your normal shark you've got a tail so it's like this now we're talking like that so it's got a very very little lobe at the bottom and a long extended uh, upper lobe it's a shark it gets to about two and a half three meters um, the SA record is still tiny but it's um, it's one of those species that's still there to be claimed they've almost got ridges that run along the body um, that's just from the the structure underneath the skin and they an olivey greeny olivey yellow kind of color it depends on when you're gonna when you catch them in the season the kind of color they are but that normal uh, yellow olive is probably the best color covered in spots when they are younger they are striped that's where they get the zebra shark from so when they're juveniles and little babies they've got extensive extensive striping on them um, actually big bars that run along and that's just from for protection sake when they're smaller they're going to want to blend in and as they get older they develop more spots and dappling and that's now for when they're sitting in the reef and things like that it looks a little bit more more natural you've got um, no dorsal fin to speak of they've got these big peck fins that they use they can actually sit on them on the floor and um, also for gliding purposes and things like that they aren't designed for speed it's more for slow cruising and working their way through the reef um, for where where their food's going to be now they absolutely love mussels their jaw structure is all for crushing not sharp teeth all designed for for crushing so you're looking at crustaceans mainly uh, cephalopods octopus and squid they do uh, eat fish if they can, if they can catch them, they're not designed to, to chase them. And then of course mussels, bivalves, oh, love them, absolutely love them. They crush them and they just, they'll, they'll suck all the juice out and then spit out the, the um, shells. Otherwise they just eat the shells, they can digest them, it's not a problem. Um, they've got quite a small eye for their size, um, very, very large meaty head. But like I said, it's not, they're not dangerous in terms of sharp teeth, but obviously if they bite you and you pull your hand out, it's going to rasp you quite badly. In terms of uh, locality-wise, you're going to be more tropical, so really Durban and North. Um, you will obviously get them further south, but it's really a more tropical species. So Durban is going to be sort of the southern cutoff and up into the up into the tropics. They are very very popular in aquariums. They've got a very placid nature. They like cruising around. They'll sit still. They can be trained. The ones that are sharker that they had. Uh, Black cat and peanut butter, I think, were the two that they had. They were absolutely beautiful fish. They they calm, they placid. They they can come up to a ball and, and push it, and then you can feed them. So it's it's uh, I had the privilege of being able to do that once or twice. So it's actually it's, it's amazing work what they can do with that, and it shows that they've actually got quite a quite a lot of intelligence. Maturity, um, they get to about 1.6 meters, is kind of where they mature. So it's quite a long shark, but you've got to take into consideration that that tail lobe is is, is very long at the top. Of as well um, so that can sometimes do a bit of a funny reading but most of the sharks we measure to pre cordial so it excludes that anyway so ignore that side note and in terms of eggs and, and young and things like that they create what's called a mermaid's purse now that is an egg casing that is external so they, they lay that onto say a set of rocks or maybe some coral or something like that and it's got long fibrils that come come off of it and that obviously gets tangled up in whatever and that keeps that egg nice and safe uh, against wherever they've laid it so yeah the uh, the leopard shark beautiful fish um, really gonna be more of a tropical species in the ledges coral reefs things like that and they will go for pretty much anything um, but a crayfish is always a winner with them uh, mullet they love mullet for some reason. So a lot of oils obviously attracts them. Macro, all, all your general head based things that get will work for them. So yeah, leopard shark. Cheers.